Meat Boy is back and Happy New Year's to you guys. Today we are making quesadillas and it's very similar to a grilled cheese in the sense that you can use all different types of fillings, cheeses, toppings. The main difference here is that a flour tortilla, generally speaking, is far less inflammatory than any bread you're going to have because it's two ingredients, flour and water. To make bread you have to add yeast, there's usually preservatives, vegetable seed oils, and there's definitely a flavoral textural difference here as well as the types of ingredients that are typically used. Let me show you guys what we're going to use to make two different quesadillas, a ham and cheese, and cheeseburger. So depending on what you have access to, you might not be able to find something that doesn't have too many ingredients. This isn't the best, there's a lot of additives, but I believe there's another brand at Whole Foods at least that doesn't have as much stuff added. I didn't see that one there when I went. Just some grass-fed butter we're going to brush on the outside of the tortilla before we put it in the pan. For the cheeseburger quesadilla, we're using raw cheddar cheese and best burger blend from Frankie's Free Range Meat. And then for the ham and cheese, we're gonna use raw Gruyere from Frankie's Free Range Meat as well as some leftover prosciutto that I was using to make uh, some penne vodka, a recipe we did a couple weeks back. So I'm gonna do all of the prep and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. We're just going to melt some butter saute some beef, shred both cheeses, and dice up the prosciutto. So after you saute the ground beef in the pan, what you want to do is put it on a cutting board and just kind of dice through it to break it up so that we can crumble it into the quesadilla. The greer and cheddar have been shredded. Prosciutto, ground beef are nicely prepped. We have one flour tortilla and some melted butter. And if you guys are looking for some of the cheeses on Frankie's Range Meat, we're out of pretty much everything besides some cheddar and I believe manchego but we will restock everything Wednesday, Thursday of this week if you guys are waiting on that. So we have the pan here ready on medium heat. For the toppings, we just want to cover one half of the quesadilla. So we have some ground beef and cheddar cheese. And I'm not going all the way to the edge because when it cooks, it might leak out a little bit. So then we'll fold this in half and brush the outside with butter. Okay, we'll pop this one in the pan for the next tortilla have our prosciutto. And you probably don't have to dice up this prosciutto. I'm sure you could put it just on here, layered, and it would be delicious. Nice amount of gruyere. And then the same thing, we'll just put butter on the outside. So I don't know if this is what they do, but I'm gonna put a plate on top of these just so it steams them, it melts a little easier, and they stay together before we flip them. When you go to flip this, just really want to make sure to scrape underneath it to make sure it's not stuck. Very nice browning. That was maybe about a minute and a half. So we'll put this plate back on. So it's been about another minute. I'm just using a fork to take this hot plate off. Then same thing as before, just scrape underneath to make sure it's not stuck. Okay, flip it, beautiful crust. Cooled off a little bit, so put it on a flat surface. So we have four nice pieces of our ham and cheese. Down the middle and in quarters. We have our cheeseburger quesadilla. Oh, what is this? Gina, have you ever had a quesadilla? I think one time. Okay, so we have two types of quesadillas. One is a cheeseburger quesadilla and one is a ham and cheese quesadilla. So we're gonna try this one first, okay? Okie dokie. Oh God, that's hot. Oh. Mmm. Well, this would be really good for like a party. Mm. You're serving it to a bunch of kids. And the main reason that I love this recipe so much and I wanted to do it was because you can put a lot of oh, high quality like animal food. nutrition. Watch more, Gina. Too mm. greasy because of the butter in the pan. So you can put a lot of cheese, a lot of mm. meat in this stuff and feed it to a kid. 
and they're going to get a lot of high quality animal protein mm -hmm. and not really going to think of uh, anything else. Let's try this one now, Gina. This is ham and cheese. Mm. The difference between this and the grilled cheese, as I said earlier, you can be a little more creative with this. Add different mm -hmm. types of meat fillings. You can do like manchego mm -hmm. cheese and maybe oh, some cool. sausage. You like both, Gina? Mm-hmm. I guess I'll try them for you guys. Mm. I don't know which one I like. They're both very good. The cheeseburger one is very good. It doesn't really taste like a cheeseburger. It's very cheese-forward because you get that strong American cheddar flavor. Jesus. I was worried the meat would be kind of forward in this, but... You don't really taste it that much. So if you have some really picky eaters and they don't like beef or meat, this is the way to go. Mm. So now I'll try the ham and cheese one. Mm. You know, before I made these, I'd have swore up and down that I would have liked the Greer and Prosciutto more, but mm. they're both very, very good. Oh, it's this is just a little dry with the... Uh, prosciutto in there. My sister is stepping in about a quarter cup of grease that she dripped on the floor. Uh, just you know on YouTube, Happy New Year. And uh, as you know, my brother is still single. So if you want to date him, a quick 15. Please, I'll give you a, all you women permission to stalk him wherever he is. So you two can have a quick 1500 calorie midnight snack. Mm-hmm. I'm really not eating. Because, well, insomnia. Why not? <laughs> you guys can check, uh, Mm. Frank, for everything. Well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm.